Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Starbound. In the last episode, we just explored, did some random stuff. In this episode, we're going to go and build ourselves a colony at that uh, Asian-style dungeon, or the High Lottle dungeon. So I can uh, start building up my ship. As you can see, I only got one upgrade, and I bought that from the black market, and that's not something you want. Well, you can if you want to go the easy route. But I kind of want to upgrade my ship. And the best way of doing that is the easiest way, if I would say, is to buy the upgrades from the black market from the, the Ark. But if you want to do it legit, legitimately, you have to recruit uh, new colonists on a uh, planet. And then sometimes those colonists will uh, want to, they'll ask you if they want to join your ship or become part of your crew. And then you say yes or no to them. And then they'll come up and be on your ship. And uh, that's probably the best way if you want to do it legitimately. Or you can uh, recruit on the, um, what is it? If you do side quests, if you find a village and or uh, a city on the surface of a planet, they'll have a whole bunch of people living there. And then you, they'll have little uh, yellow exclamation points above their head. When they have the little exclamation point, it means they got a quest for you. When they, you do the quest for them, sometimes they will ask to join your crew. That's another way. But the easiest way, legitimately, is to buy, build yourself a, uh, a colony. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Ark first to buy some uh, deeds. Colony deeds. Yeah, this game, after, after you run out, uh, I'm trying to make this game last longer by doing all this stuff. And it helps you guys out if you want to know anything about colony building or just anything else. I try to help out in that regard. Here's the black market, by the way. He sells the uh, ship upgrades. For the money goes up every time the upgrade. Every upgrade costs more and more money. But it's just not too difficult to earn money in this game. But you go up here. I went the wrong way. Could have went around this way. But here's the guy you buy the deeds from. Here's the deeds. I already bought the guide. If you watched my explaining colonies. Or uh, recruitment. Pretty much. That's the episode where I explain all this stuff. And I read the book. So I'm going to do, I got one on me right now, so I'm going to buy, there's 700 apiece, I got 23,000, actually I got more, so I'm going to get five total right now to start with, that's with the one I have in my inventory, and here goes the lag again, this place is so laggy, and I opted in like a year ago or two years ago with the, uh, unstable version of starbound so I can keep up the latest stuff and for some reason it won't let me opt out it, it, it's just even though I, I it says none it still is unstable version it doesn't change so that's why it's so laggy and you can buy all your whatnots here if you need extra metals and stuff it's not too expensive until you get down here But if you ever need metals and stuff, you can do that. Alright. Well, I got my deeds. I should have five on me right now. Yep, I got five deeds. I still got my teleporter I was going to put on that, uh... The High Lottle Dungeon. And what we're going to do is just going to go and build... Not really build, it's going to be mainly... I have this, I found this off camera. This right here is, uh, I found another high lottle dungeon that I cleared out already. And off camera, I'm going to repair the other one. Because as you see, there's uh, vines growing through these places. And I want to get rid of the vines and just have it nothing but the actual, like, paper walls, the ornate wood and stuff. I'd rather, I want that instead of having all these vines and stuff. So in some places, these vines look okay. And I need doors. But as you see, like the roof here, there's vines growing and there's pieces missing. And the same goes with my other dungeon I'm going to turn into my colony on the Shadow World. And off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this place apart. 
because I found this extra one take parts that I need from this one to build the other one on me uh, on uh, the actual colony that I'm wanting to keep which is a good idea because yeah, I know you can build these parts and whatnot but I'm gonna show you guys it's not as easy as you think okay let's get this pixel printer actually I need this and the pixel printer I bring these with me to show everybody things okay so in this uh, industrial workbench you can build blocks and everything you pick up you can actually build it like this our uh, classic baseboard which is this right here it's the floor and the walls and ceilings so not all of it but some of it and you click on that it requires ornate wood okay ornate wood where's ornate wood it's our uh, Alright, ornate platform, ornate floor, there's ornate wood, boom. Cost treated wood, what? It just keeps going, okay, what's treated wood? Alright, treated wood costs wood logs, so it's just, dude, that's not extremely expensive, but it's kind of out of the way to do all that. Alright, let's look for the tiles. I can't remember what they're called. These right here, ornate roofing tiles, blue dye and roof tiles, okay ornate wooden roof tiles as you saw that the ornate wood takes like five different steps just to get to ornate wood okay that's, that's some blue dye you have to use the blue petals from flowers which I don't have a huge amount of and it takes one to one to get uh, 40 which is actually a pretty good number but it's just is it's expensive to make all this stuff so instead of doing that like this right here you the, these background walls are paper ornate wood and paper therefore you have to make ornate wood from like five different steps and then you have to make paper it I'd rather come to find another one of these dungeons destruct it as I go along and take the parts and put it in my good dungeon if that makes sense so off camera what I'm gonna do is uh, if I'm gonna repair the other high lottle dungeon I'm going to come back here and take the parts from here since it's a replica of that same dungeon, I got all the parts I'll ever need. And this is a, in a one episode, a few episodes back, I was saying that there's sometimes chests in these underground floors, and I left this one here to show you that that is true. Alright, let's head on out of here. I'm not going to do anything here right now. I'm going to do that stuff off camera. And I might, uh, if you guys follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I will place pictures of my progress of uh, repairing the other dungeon. If you want to follow me on those all right let's go to the main one which is new meerkat base and if everybody's watched my uh, last episode of Borderlands 2 I was a bit gripey in there but you know I'm only human here and I have to uh, as you see there's damage all over I was clearing out some of the vines that's why it looks like that but um, in my last episode of Borderlands 2 I was a bit on the uh, complainy side and you gotta realize that in being a youtuber is kinda tough and because it's tough it it wears on your psyche a lot when no matter no how much no matter how much you do it seems like it doesn't matter you know what I mean and so I felt really stressed out and not seeing my numbers grow is disheartening and it destroys you you know the dream of doing this so you know if that's uh, I just want to say I'm sorry that I did gripe but I have to let off steam once in a while and I better to let off the steam in a uh, on my channel to relay the message then not at all I don't want to bottle that stuff up you know what I mean alright let's get to uh, colonizing here let's see uh, like I said off camera I'm going to repair this stuff and I will take snapshots and I will show those on Twitter and Facebook and whatnot so if you guys are interested in that just uh, follow me on Twitter and on Facebook and then you'll have get to see all the little snippets behind behind the scenes okay large medieval door that's what it's called okay I've been talking too much we need to get this stuff built 
this room's going to be my main hub. There's not going to be anybody living here. But to make a house work just like in Terraria, you got to have light source. you got to have uh, doors and a full floor, not like this one. I keep exiting out of that. All right, so here's some ornate floor. Hold down shift to uh, make it one block. I did, uh, off camera, I did do, um, I upgraded everything 100% so I could start selling these modules now for money. As I got 44 of them. And they're worth a, a bit of money. So after you upgrade everything with those, then you can just upgrade like crazy. Or sell like crazy if I can speak correctly. Alright, whoever's getting this room is going to be getting swords on the wall. Not unless I do not deem so. Because I need room to put furniture down. But first, why I brought this stuff with me so I can build the blocks. So I can build the furniture and doors and stuff. And this to melt down stuff or make other things like paper and whatnot. As you see, you can make paper, you can do all that whatnots in here. Alright, so I need a uh, large medieval door. Or actually several of them. Let's see. Uh, large medieval door. Okay, it costs 145 pixels. And as you... Oh, I didn't bring one more thing. Ah, uh, that sucks. Let's make two of them. I do have $20,000 on me. But I did bring all my money. As you see, I got all my money right here. I got $80,000 to spend. But for some reason, I kind of left it all behind. And I did find some stuff off camera too. But I'll show that in the next episode. We're just doing the colony stuff in this one. Alright, I want a chair. Let's see if I got enough blocks to fix this up. I doubt it though. I got some, but I don't think I got enough. I don't have this kind of wall. Might have to break it to see if I can learn the recipe. Because you can find recipes, actual blueprints, and then you can learn them that way. Did I have that? Shoji screen panel. I don't think it's in there. Let's say it's here. It's SH. And this one. OG screen panel. Paper and timber. That's more cheaper. But to make paper. Let's see here. What's it cost? Wood logs. Let's go ahead and make some. Let's say you get five times. So let's make enough to last a little while. Alright. Let's do. Go to blocks. Here we go. I do have a little bit of timber on me. Not a huge amount. But enough to get something started. Let's see if we make five. Gives me a hundred panels. Which is cool. Alright. Let's fix some of this here. I know the vi in some cases these vines look pretty good. It brings character to your rooms and whatnot. But at the same time, I might keep some of the vines. But uh, and other times I want to make it look pristine. Well, what? Oh, that's the wrong board. Takes a bit to break too. I need that kind of board. Why did it look like this? I don't want it to look like that. I think you gotta start from this side over. Or not. I don't know what why it looks like that. Why it looks like that. That looks kinda funky. Oh, I'm out of ornate boards already. Yay. I got any of the, yeah, was, I think, oh, it's not the white, the same. But that takes ornate wood, so what I'm going to do, instead of wasting my time, we're going to go to the other base, and we're going to farm up a bunch of those blocks to help me make the other, my main base. Actually, my main base is on the Meerkat Nation homeworld, but my colony will be here.
All right, look at it. since I upgraded this fully, I can just go crazy and destroy chunks, big chunks. That's why I upgraded it like that. If you want to be more precise, hold down the shift key. The developers, uh, Chucklefish, they were talking about this game. They said they were going to release it on consoles, PS4, Xbox One, maybe even Switch. And they, they said this like a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago or so, and they never did anything with that. I was actually looking forward to playing this on consoles because I'm playing with my, uh, my wife or my sons, which would be kind of cool. My kids would love playing this game because they like Terraria, uh, mainly Minecraft. But think about how to having my entire family playing this, or I can play with you guys on the console if you guys are... Uh, got this game on there but they never released it on the console they promised and never delivered it's very disappointing I don't know what happened it's like the, the developers of Chucklefish gave up on their huge IP that was supposed to be like a Terraria killer and I don't care about the aesthetic of this place because I will be this is my tear down place destruction it's a good thing I found an extra one of these places though it took I was looking around exploring I was like because I looked at the blocks the recipes for the blocks and they were so expensive it's like wow well, how am I supposed to build all this and actually show you guys in a timely manner and I was like well what if I could find another one of these dungeons And I did. I was just roaming around. You know, trying to find this dungeon. And there it was. Three planets in. I was like, yeah. Luck is on my side. Because the Meerkat Nation gives me all the luck. All the luck I'll ever need. It's all you guys. Because before I started my channel, my luck was abysmal. What's that saying that they say? Is that if you have uh, no bad luck, then you have no luck at all? That's how bad it is. But since we got four of the deeds, that means we can go a little ways. I don't want to tear up this main column area right here because that's how you get up to the second and third floors. I'd rather keep an area where I can climb up. As you see, my uh, matter manipulator can go a pretty far distance here. Except up there. It's as far as it goes. And I hope everybody's enjoying my uh, Starbound Let's Play. And I hope you're learning anything or if I'm teaching guys anything new. So this game may not be for everybody, but it is very a lot of fun. And if you like building and if you like exploration and I do admit that at a certain point that you're going to run out of stuff to do or explore new things because there is a limit to it all there's there's plenty there and then every time you start a game you know you got to think that um how many plants there are out there is a lot and because there's so many There's always something to explore, even though it may be the same type, The uh, what you're going to find on that planet might be different. And that's the uh, magic of it, I guess. But I do recommend this game. It'll give you some hours of enjoyment. You know, it'll give you some enjoyment for a while. And then you can just stop playing it when you get bored of it, and then come back later. That's the magic of video gaming right there. Like you always come back. There's some games on my uh, computer I never even erase, like uh, Terraria. I never erase it off my computer because I always go back and play it. It's just one of those kind of games, you know. We'll go ahead and take all this furniture. Why not? And that light. Alright, I think I got enough blocks. We're going to head back now. Before the end of this episode, I want to make sure that we're going to have all five deeds down. And we're going to have five working rooms we're gonna do it guys
Dalenium is going to give me a quest to have. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm not going to show you guys that. This room can be made up. I'm going to stay on the first floor for now. And move my way up. Next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to start up the next uh, story mission. And hopefully I'll have some ship upgrades going for me. At least one. This room, I don't know uh, if you if it requires a chair. In chair, you have to have a chair. A, uh, what was that, a chair. A light source. A door. It's got to be sealed off, means it's got to have back wall. Alright. Best way to do this is this right here. Just stay within your borders. It's like uh, like uh, drawing with crayon and stuff. Stay within the lines, you know. <laughs> what kind of block is that? Oh, it's this one. It's like there's so many block types in this dungeon. That's why I like about it, because if you look at it, it has a lot of detail. And this is some of the stuff that I'm very impressed with with uh, the developers of Chucklefish. They made some cool looking things. Look at this place. So much detail, so much awesomeness. And this is why I love video gaming, guys. It's like the the sense of discovery or the sense of accomplishment is it is worth it. Like uh, I suck hardcore at those uh, like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and stuff. Suck at those games, but when you defeat a boss that was giving you some trouble, talk about a sense of you know. Accomplishment, sense of, uh, what is that, uh, word? Uh, for some reason, I can't say it. It's right there, like, the tip of my tongue, but it's, like, gone. Hate when I can't talk. But basically, the same thing as sense of accomplishment. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, like, it's rewarding. Tough stuff in games are very rewarding. That if you find it, you struggle and you struggle to beat a boss or you struggle to do something else, and then all of a sudden you win. And it's like, wow, that was actually quite amazing. I was going to, I was thinking about keeping the screen there, but nah. Be alright without a screen, so I need a table, chairs. Okay, so give me a table. Let's put this one down. Let's put a chair down. There we go. And then a colony deed. Oh, uh, this room ain't done though, look. I need windows. Did I not get any windows when I was at my other teardown dungeon? If I put down my uh, teleporter, I would be able to do this without having to go to the ship first. See, that's me not thinking, like ever. Who thinks anymore, right? Yeah, this is the main room I said I was not going to tear down, but it's okay to tear down this as long as I don't get rid of the way I can get up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you make it this far, if I'm interesting enough to make it this far, I appreciate it. I had a uh, somebody that just recently subscribed to me. And they were telling me that I was doing a good job. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. I love see that. I love that kind of feedback where people are actually saying I'm doing a good job. That, that that gives me the strength to carry on, even though I've been very depressed lately with my channel and how I feel like I'm failing and all. But it's those comments that keep me doing this. You know, this is something I've always wanted to do. I know most people are like, oh, get a real job. You know, I worked my entire life working at real jobs since I was 15 years old, and because of that. It was not rewarding. Uh, we were living paycheck to paycheck all my life, barely getting anywhere. It's not worth it. I don't want to. I don't want to just survive anymore. I want to live. There's a difference, a big difference. I don't. Uh, you know, all my life and my family's life, we've always are just just surviving. And who wants that? I want to explore the world. I want to do stuff that you know like that. 
by being poor, you don't get to do stuff like that. You're just stuck in one place for the rest of your life. And that's all you see. It's all you ever do. And it's very depressing. That's why I wanted to make this channel. You know, I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be recognized as somebody and seen. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's people out there that don't understand what I'm trying to say. And I congratulate you, and hopefully you guys have a good luck on that, that front as well. I want to take this stuff with me. Yeah. This place doesn't have a huge amount of windows to go through. For some reason. I should have got some. Okay, whatever. They've got enough. Looks like I'll have to build some of the parts because each building looks the same, but some of it is not. And the people won't move in until the room is complete, just like in Terraria. And may have these open windows here. Don't don't fly very well with the old NPCs. All right. Now we can finish the windows. There we go. Now look how nice this room looks. I take out all the vines. It looks really nice. I need to find out how much it costs for these lamps. But first, uh, I'm just going to put a candle here. Maybe a couple of torches until I can get some repair done on some of these lights. Because it's only got one of each here. Alright, the uh, see if a colony deed will work. Oop. There we go. And we got somebody. Can't believe what what'd you say? And you're just gonna go out there in the sandstorm. Good job, bro. Have fun out there. Now I can do this room. Like I said, I'm gonna stay on the first floor for now. And make each one of these as a room except for this main area, because this is where all my repair tools are gonna to make this a room, this a room, this a room. And so forth and so on. I don't know how many uh, peeps this place can do. I can like take a long room. Let's say let's this take this room for example. Cut it right here down the middle. Take this light out. Put a light source, light source. Put a wall here. Put a door here. Then you got yourself two rooms. You can split this into two rooms. So you can actually, like that room I did for that guy back there, it was, I gave him a lot of room, if you will. What was I going to do here? I was thinking about doing something. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and repair this room. Ah, oh, I didn't want to put it in the foreground. Should have picked up that chest before I fix the floor, but I will. Not a big deal. There we go. This room is almost done. And there's something satisfying about doing this. Repairing, finding a dungeon, yeah, there's always going to be satisfying when you build your own, uh, like, village or whatnot. That's always satisfying. But at the same time, finding a dungeon like this and repairing it back to pristine or the way you want it is very satisfying too. Okay, let's put down a chair here. And uh, why I got the pixel printer this right here because I scan everything it allows you to build all these awesome things and if you want to take one of these rooms let's say this room I'm repairing right now what I'm going to get is a high lottle no matter what I'm going to get a high lottle because it's a high lottle styled room therefore what I'm going to get is exactly what the room is styled after so if I put down another colony it's going to be another high lottle Oh, this room, there's something wrong. What's wrong? The light source? No, nope. there's something wrong with this room. Not it doesn't want me to. What is wrong with this room? That's the question. Not big enough? It looks big enough. This is huge. See, that's one problem with the uh, Starbound Atreia. Atreia actually tells you what the room is missing. This room... Oh. I don't want to break it. Can I not look at it? What's wrong? Is 
This can't be used as a house. How do I get this off? There we go. It's like one specific spot. Alright, I gotta figure out why this room is not allowing me to build. Hmm. Is it because of this floor down here? Or is it because of this door? Nope. I don't know what's wrong with this room. To be honest, I really don't. So this is the problem. It's like, it doesn't tell you what's wrong. In Trey, if you were missing light source or a door or something, it will actually tell you. This one, it does not. It just goes red and says figure it out on your own but uh, what I was trying to explain a little bit ago before the failure of that room is that um, if you want to make a different races room then put the furniture walls and whatnot of that races room let's see if I can actually try to accomplish this here which is kind of hard to do since I'm repairing a room that's already a specific race but most of this I want to do off camera I don't want to you know bore you guys too much I just want to explain some things about making your own colony and how you can like take a dungeon and turn it into you know repair it and then turn it into what you want it to be or you can build your own which I usually build my own I never actually did this before even though I've been wanting to for a while so I was like, why not actually do this on camera? And it's something I've wanted to try out to repair one of these dungeons. Because like I said in the previous episode, this dungeon is my favorite style. And because it is, I always wanted to repair it and turn it into an actual colony or house or whatever you want to, want to call it. It's almost done, but I, don't, I still don't know why I can't build in that one room. Or a colony person will come in. Is this room done? What? I don't like how that looks, though. There we go. Let's put down this to match the other, the other window. Now, this room is pretty much done. Probably. Who knows if it's actually going to count. There's something in this room that doesn't count. And I don't know what it is. Let's put it, some furniture down. Like a chest. Will it count now? Probably not. Yeah, there's something in this room that doesn't... That the game does not like. And it can't be too small. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It's quite big. Anything? Why can't this be used as a house? Do you guys understand? <laughs> well, it looks like I'll be looking that up. Because there's something off about this. It, it looks like a perfectly working room to me. Oh, oh yes, I wanted that. Is there like a missing block or something? Oh, yes, there is. Look, there's a window right there. There's a window missing. That was so hard to see. That's why nobody wants this room. Wow, guys. Make sure to look at your stuff as closely as possible. There it is. Yay. It was just one window pane missing. But as you see, the room is high lottle based. And because it is, I'll leave the chest there. But I'll take the armoire. But uh, because it's high lottle, uh, you know, high lottle room and furniture and stuff. Are you unhappy? 
you're unhappy because I took the armoire? Really? There you go. Oh, you're a shop. Oh, because I have the chest and armoire here, it turned into a shop. That's cool. So you can sell that. This, I didn't know that. So if you put, if you take a room, you put your light source, you put your stuff in there, put put chests and like uh, containers, pretty much any kind of container that you can put stuff into, you get a shop. Now that is pretty dang neat, guys. Pretty neat. I want to turn one of these rooms into something else instead of having nothing but um, high lotl. We want uh, a, a diversity, if you will. Okay, I want to take this. There we go. Right, let's build this room. We'll go get ourselves another high lotl. Why not? I do have one light source in here. So if you put, yeah, if you put multiple, um, it's off centered. But if you put multiple chests or containers, expect you'll have a shop, which is actually quite cool. I like the shop idea. You want you want uh, some swords on the wall? There you go. Let's put one of these these down, and we'll be made. Oh, you're a, you're a fighter, huh? All right. Well, we are starting a colony, guys. We are starting. And then after a while, you'll see that these will have be tur they'll turn yellow. This room is pretty much ready to go too. I just need to take those vines out. This room can be done pretty soon. I might change this room into a different style, like put different furniture in it. Maybe this room too. Where'd this one go? He ran off. Better not get yourself killed or something. But there's one more thing I wanted to touch on before we uh, end the episode here, guys. Is that um, after you take, like, say, this colonist wants to join my ship, he'll have the uh, he'll have a quest for you, or he'll just out ask you outright, "Can I join your crew?" If he does, he'll go up to your ship and he'll stay on your ship. He won't come back down here. Therefore, this colony deed will have nobody here anymore. I don't, I can't remember, I don't know if they fixed it, that where, uh, it automatically replaces the person they took from you, like from, like if somebody goes to your ship, this room won't be empty, means nobody's here, but you still have the colony deed. What I used to do back then was to break this off the wall, replace it back down, and then another colonist will pop down. So you can just replace the colonist that way. It's pretty much infinite. So after you recruit one of these guys to your ship, then you can just break this off the wall or wait and it might replace it because I don't know I haven't played it in a while and but before what I always did was break the colony deed and then replace it back down on the wall and you get a new colonist but that's pretty much it you know I'm gonna play I'm gonna do this off camera a bit more fix this place I want I want to make it look nice like this this looks pristine these rooms look nice they are no vines, no cracks, no missing parts. And this is what I want to do for the whole dungeon, which is going to be time consuming. Oh, this one's already got a quest for me. We might have time to do this quest. It says, I have a plan to expand my storage range of products. Can you help? Initially, we'll need to gather 24 plant fiber. Could you handle this? Yes. Well done, Papa Meerkat. I never doubted you could do it. Next step requires putting together six woven fabric. I will do that myself, but my crafting skills are terrible. If you want to take a shot, you should have everything you need. Six woven fabric? Really, dude? You couldn't build your own woven fabric. I'm going to put down my uh, portal. Oh, man, I can't reap. Well, I can. Oh, well. 
I have to destroy the stuff in the background and try to remember what it is. Because you, after you put down a portal or a teleporter, you can't bring it back. It breaks, it's gone forever. So, yeah, but uh, I'll just do this stuff off camera. Alright, so let's make some woven fabric. The guy was asking for six of them. Which takes a bit of time. We're going to qu complete this quest before we end the episode. Wow, very, uh, very well constructed. Thank you. This is going to work nice. What I have planned. Alright, perfect timing. Apparently, Zichitl, a traveling merchant, has just arrived at the fl uh, flooded ruin to the west. Can you find Zichitl? <laughs> Zichitl? And trade the six woven fabric in return for the goods I need. And it gives you a reward back. And off camera, I earned a reward back by doing quests. Yeah, I got Solarium more. It's not too bad. Alright, to the west we go. Actually, what I need to do is switch this to here. Track quest. Or not. That's not the right one, is it? Here we go. This is the one. The other one's on a different planet. You get this little compass that tells you the direction of the quest. We gotta head west. So let's do this. We're gonna complete this quest for our colonist. And then we're gonna end the episode. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but hey. Nobody minds a little bit of a longer video, right? Well, I hope not. Oh man, I don't want to get in the oil. You get so super, uh, super slowed down. There you are. High hidden in the sandstorm. Thank you for delivering this. Here's Michi's order. Alright. You gonna come back to my uh, village? Cause you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get killed out here, bro. Or ma'am. However, however that is. That wasn't too far away. I got a shop that I can sell to. Right in my own base. I don't know where this person went to. I think they went upstairs and got lost. Uh, why do I have a glitch? Did I get a glitch as one of my own? Um... Yeah, I did. That's weird. I should have gotten a high level. Alright, reward bag gained. What are we gonna get? Manipulator module? Since I got 45 of them now, how much are they worth? Uh, 45 of them cost me $9,000. Yep, if you upgrade all your stuff and you don't need these upgrade modules anymore, they're worth a bit of money. But there you go, guys. Well, we completed the quest, and some of those quests will lead into recruitment for your ship. Keep that in mind. And this is the reason why I'm telling you guys about uh, colony building. Because you can build your ship up this way. Alright, I hope my information was helpful for you guys. At all. It's all I can hope for. That I'm helpful to somebody. And, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I need all the help I can get, get this channel rolling, and more subscribers I get, and more comments and likes, always gives me the encouragement and the the want to keep going with this dream job I've always wanted to do. And, if you found that my commentary was helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. Every little bit helps me, guys. I need all the help I can get. And... Uh, next to that subscribe button, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll find that there is a uh, bell icon that will show up. Hit that bell icon to keep up my latest videos. I upload daily, so you're always going to have something to watch, something new. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.